Hello again, I am Blunt here, and if you've been watching or reading literally anybody's post-launch coverage of the MetaQuest 3, you will have undoubtedly heard 100% of them expressing anything from minor disappointment to exasperated infuriation at the one big, unstoppably stupid, and monstrously arrogant, impossibly short-sighted design flaw of the Quest 3. That is, of course, the out-of-box comfort. I blame Zuckerberg because he is a reptilian android, clearly having been constructed by a race of beings who have only ever had humans describe to them in vague terms in text messages that have been auto-translated by Google four or five different times. Uh, he arrived on Earth with only a limited comprehension of human emotion, biology, and so he seems completely unaware, or at least uncaring, that the default head strap of the Quest 3 uh, comes with a, with a nightmare of ergonomics, basically. It's, it's a nightmare. Here's what I personally had to say when I was recording some first impressions on day one with this headset, with this thing attached to it. Comfort. <laughs> the first thing I did when I got the Quest 2, in fact I ordered it the same day uh, they arrived together, was, was order the price strap because, you know, I've used other headsets before with these elastic strap kind of headsets and they're just not that comfortable long term. Like I said, I've been wearing this for about an hour and a half now, just digging around in VR, doing all kinds of things, on in VR chat and watching some uh, uh, YouTube videos and bits and pieces. And yeah, I can mirror exactly what everyone else is saying. The tops of my ears where the, where the straps are sort of brushing against are starting to get very sore. It's a very, very light pressure, but you know, you keep that light pressure on for long enough and you know, that ache sets in. And of course the headset is pressing against my face. So, oh my God, yeah. Just like everybody else has said, I feel the pressure on my cheekbones. I feel the pressure particularly up here on my forehead. And there's just, yeah, there's no, there's no comfortable way to wear this particular head strap. It is, hello, real world. So third party straps. Here is the cheapest one I could find within the first week of launch anyway. I wanted something good enough to allow me to actually use the Quest 3 with any concept of comfort and if it turned out to be fantastic, great, fine, excellent. If it turned out to be just good enough as a stopgap until a better design option was worked out down the road, also fine. All I knew was I needed it at least before delivery of my Beta Quest 3, which limited choice a bit, as well there's a lot of promised products out there already, 70% of them uh, at least are just store listings with no actual product ready to ship yet. Very frustrating browsing Amazon for this stuff right now. This is the Zyber VR head strap for Quest 3, and I imagine you'll likely find it listed under numerous Alphabet Soup brands, as is common for this kind of Chinese-made third-party stuff. This design, for example, I've tracked across no less than eight different brands already. It's pretty easy to spot because it has kind of iconic little design things around the, the back strap of thing. I've seen it called cyberpunk aesthetics in different listings. It's just whatever. But like I said, I chose the Zyber VR one because of two reasons. First, it was ready to ship immediately. Second, it was among the cheapest options at just under 40 yank smackers. And I'm actually reasonably impressed by it. It is without a single doubt vastly, vastly more comfortable than the default straps, of course, because, you know, I, I imagine I could attach a pair of furious weasels to each one of my ears using gaffer tape. And I'd find that infinitely more comfortable than the default straps too. So, you know, all things being relative. The whole thing, at least how I wear it, sits comfortably at the higher part of the rear of my skull. Meaning, should I want to lie down with this on when I'm watching movies or something, it's still surprisingly comfy. You want pillows, of course, to, to cushion it a little bit. But yeah, I've watched two movies in a row uh, immediately after one another without a break and found it to be perfectly comfortable. Well, I say without a break, I did pee and I did it in mixed reality just to see. Sounds a bit gross, I know, but the mixed reality cameras are good enough to pee in, if you were wondering. <laughs> Speaking of comfort levels, let me know if you've made it this far into the video by commenting with the comfy bed emoji or possibly the toilet emoji. Is there a toilet emoji? I think there is, isn't there? One of those. Now, 
for more active duties, have also found it to be a nice secure fit. Uh, slashing around in, in dungeons or, or a beat saber or whatever have felt perfectly fine. My headset didn't slip or slide around. And this strap arrangement combined with the Quest 3's slightly slimmer design, meaning the center of gravity is inherently closer to your face than the Quest 2 was, means uh, this, this combination feels a bit lighter, even though it is slightly heavier technically than the Quest 2. Um, I guess the best way to put it is it's less prone to having you feel the inertia of the headset when you move quickly. You know, it doesn't keep moving after you. You know, that kind of stuff. The fit and finish of the strap are actually quite decent. It snaps very securely into the Quest 3's little arm stubs there. It's got a mechanical hinge to allow for a range of head shapes and comfort choices. And it's got about a 60 degree sort of range of movement here. Uh, so that's quite a lot of flexibility, really. Uh, speaking of which, the flexibles part of the strap is um, sort of very, very highly flexible. I can't imagine what it would take to break this, but you won't be doing it in regular use. Look at that. The thermoplastic support, uh, you know, at the, at the back here, conforms nicely to the back of my head and offers a nice broad distribution of pressure. In fact, this head cup thing is actually more comfortable than the pro strap, the, the first party pro strap that I got for the Quest 2 back there. The top strap is a mixture of PU leather and memory foam. And well, it's, it's, it's fine. After six days of wearing this, I'm still not sure I like the top strap. I keep sort of making little adjustments to it. It's not uncomfortable. But I think the fact that it's so heavily padded kind of fights against its purpose of the top strap, and that being to consistently set the level of vertical support. If it's so heavily padded, it's never quite consistent. So, eh. yeah, it's 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 fine. It's not great, but not really an issue either. Also, it's just attached by a, a loop front and back, uh, so it can easily be replaced with a completely different strap or no strap if you prefer. And the ratcheting dial to tighten it up and hold this uh, whole thing in place. Also feels reasonably well built. The ratcheting notches are narrow enough for a very fine adjustment to pressure. So you can set this thing exactly how you feel is most comfortable for you. And it releases extremely easily, but never ever accidentally. It, you know, once you put it on there, it stays there until you deliberately loosen it up again. Oh, and it also comes with a little removable clip here for strain relief for a USB cable too. If you're using it plugged into the PC for link cable use or uh, plugged into a power supply or a battery bank uh, to stay juiced up. Also, on that note, are you subbed yet? You might want to sub because I've got a review coming of a monster battery pack that you'll want to see. So sub and bell for that because, whew. But yeah, yeah, the, the little clip has been nice and secure. Uh, it's got a solid grasp. It adjusts pretty easily. It doesn't move when you're using it. Uh, it's not a pain in the bum to release the cable from it either if you just want to come it off. Um, yeah, it works great. All in all, I'm quite happy with what I initially purchased as just the cheapest option, the stopgap option. I can recommend this. It is a genuinely good head strap and I genuinely enjoy using it. So right down there, away we go. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you as always to the patrons scrolling up above there. I am Blunty and I will catch you next time.